Nine. The Big Brother Finale, live CBS Tonight. We don't have much time. Aaron, don't. What? Don't let me go. Lucy, this is not going to be the last time I hold you. I told you, I'm going to think of a way to stay. But let me help. We'll think of it together. Okay. Okay, but we got to be smart. No running, no power plays, nothing that's going to give Holden another reason to, to want me gone. Well, maybe I could talk to your mother. I mean, I realize she doesn't know me, but we could sit down and I could tell her how much we mean to each other, and then maybe she'll change her mind. That's not going to change her mind. Or Caleb's. They already booked me on a flight to Seattle. For when? Tonight. I thought I was doing the right thing. Being strong, telling you I'd find a way to deal with you leaving, but... And as soon as you walked through that door, I knew I couldn't live without you, even for a little while. And I feel the same way. But now that I know you want me here, there's no way I'm going back to Seattle. Oh, why didn't I think of this before? There still is someone in my family on my side. Who are you calling? Well. Hello, Abigail? How good are you at changing Holden's mind? I've become the last resort of the desperate. No, listen, Hal, I've been out of the hospital for over a week now, and I, I've, I've caught up in all my reading, I've balanced my checkbook, and my, my mind is turning to oatmeal. So I figured, well, you know, why don't I just try and catch up what's going on at the station? Because every time I talk about police business with Tom, he just pretends he doesn't hear me. Hey, this is good. What? Obviously, you're feeling better. I, I've started feeling better days ago. I've gone on to fantastic. Mm -hmm. You're also angling for something, so why don't you just get to it? Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, um, I know that there is a plan in place to prove that Marshall is connected to Stenbeck. I want to be part of that. It's time for me to get back to work, Hal. Testing, this is Henry Coleman. Hello. What are you doing? What's the holdup? You're supposed to be on the way to Travis' room already. I have to make sure the mic works before I plan You told assignment. me the equipment was brand new. Yeah, well, we don't want to plan a dead mic, now do we? We've got to hurry. The maid's almost done with her vacuuming. Go take a little star. How I wonder how I got myself into this. Is there a problem? No. No, no, it's all fine. It's just some technical stuff. You ready to set up a distraction so Henry can slip into Travis' room? Yeah, Henry? Yeah, I'm sorry, the mic is not working. There must be a dead mic. We're going to have oh, to whoa. fix it once you get into the room, Henry. Come on. Wait, come on. hold it, Simon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a second here. You're not going to try and weasel your way out of this, are you? No, I want to get my toolbox so I can do the job right. Do you have any other words of encouragement? Don't screw up. 
Let's go. Do you suspect Marshall Travers will continue to run a negative campaign? Well, that sounds like a question for my opponent. All I can say is I won't run my campaign that way. And I certainly have no control over what Mr. Travers does or does not do. Rest assured that my campaign will be run with honesty and dignity. And I encourage Mr. Travers to do the same. That's all for now. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, oh, Mr. Mr. Travers. Mr. Travers. Mr. Travers. Mr. Travers. Mr. Travers, do you care to comment on Ms. Griffin's statement? Uh, no, I would not. Do you think her admission of wrongdoing went far enough? That's for the public to decide, not me. Do you have further evidence of Ms. Griffin abusing power? I'm here to win an election, not to tear down the incumbent. Ms. Griffin isn't the only one with a sense of right and wrong here. Mr. Travers, what are you doing here? Did Ms. Griffin invite you? No, she did not. I heard she was here, and I couldn't stay away. This was Ms. Griffin's press conference, not mine. I'd be happy to answer more questions at another time. Actually, you have Travers, one more thing for you. Travers, people, you, you heard the man. Don't you have deadlines to meet? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Come on, Karen. Uh, leave it open. Why? I told you. I. I remember. You're not interested. You've also hung up on me, run out on me. I thought you'd have a harder time escaping from me here. Well, you were wrong. Jessica, wait. Give me a chance. Forget about the election. Forget about the media. Just for a few moments, let yourself feel. That you want me to feel something I don't. Wait. You have three seconds to let go of me or I'll bring charges. All this effort to resist. When giving in is all we both really want. As the World Turns is brought to you by Physique. For free samples and more, visit www.physique.com. Some styles don't last 20 minutes, but your hairstyle can last 20 hours. Presenting Physique 20 Hour Styling Products, like volume foam, texture wax, and curl spray. Which proves, with physique, some styles are here to stay. Well, at least when it comes to your hair. 20-hour styling products from physique. We go to spas to restore our minds and bodies. But how can we restore our smiles? With Crest White Strips. These thin, flexible strips contain a peroxide gel that works in ways whitening toothpastes can't reaching down to stains in your teeth, not just on them. In two weeks, you can take 10 years off your smile. Wow, you look great. You have the best smile. <laughs> Crest White Strips, reveal your wider smile, guaranteed. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, 
Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. No matter what's going on outdoors, it's a beautiful day indoors with Downy Clean Breeze. Line dried freshness comes inside when you drop the Downy Ball in at the start of the wash. It releases itself in the rinse. Line dried freshness, whether or not, from Downy Clean Breeze. You're two years old, and you idolize your big brother. Right down to his underwear. So Pampers is introducing new Easy Ups, training pants that feel more like underwear than the leading brand. And they go up easy, like underwear. To you, they're not training pants. They are underwear. So get ready for the real thing with new Pampers Easy Ups. Now you'll find great new designs, including Elmo in every bag of Easy Ups. state system clearly designed by men which means it could be a long time before you can check your pad fortunately new always thin ultra absorbs so much you'll get five times cleaner drier protection which is five times better than other pads so you can go the distance five times cleaner and drier always expect more protection yes it's lonely who could get Nancy Reagan to talk candidly about her husband's Alzheimer's? Mike Wallace could, and he does, on 60 Minutes 2, tonight at 8, 7 Central. Living better, longer. How the power of prayer can help. Tomorrow on The Early Show. You don't want anything? Fine. I'm going in there for a cup of coffee. Don't you dare leave this car. to hold on to it while he... You know what? It doesn't matter. Did you get my message about Aaron having to leave Oakdale? Aaron hasn't left yet, has he? No, but his parents are here and they want to take him back to Seattle tonight. Uh, I'll get there as soon as I can. Um, should I meet you at the barn? I guess so. And hurry, Allison. We need that brain of yours on our side. I'll do my best. I, I gotta go. Who is that on the phone? Why are you always so suspicious? I won't even dignify that question with an answer. Now just tell me who it was. My friends, okay? They need me for something. So let's stop wasting time. Let's go. My grandma lent me her truck. I'll go meet Abigail, see if she has any ideas. I wish I could go with you more than anything, but if I miss that doctor's appointment... I know. Your dad's going to go ballistic, and things will just get worse. You all right? No. Lucy, do you see me here? Do you see me here right in front of you? Yes. Well, this is where I'm staying, okay? I'm not getting on that plane. Meet me in front of Java after your appointment. I'm gonna have good news. I'll be there. Okay. Oh, and, um, Allison called. I told her we needed her help, and she's gonna be back here as soon as she can. You asked Allison for help? Well, you really are desperate, huh? I will do anything to keep us together. Well, so will I. I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Well, now that Katie and I share a liver, we finally talk, and Katie talks a lot. She told me that Paul Ryan contacted Simon to try and get him to help him prove that there was a connection between Travers and Stenbeck. I'm aware that's what Paul thinks. I'm inclined to agree with him, but nobody contacted me about trying to prove it. Well, why would they do that, Hal? What they're doing is illegal. And you want to be a part of that? Why? Hal, I just want to feel like I have a purpose. Margo, you already have a purpose. It's to keep getting better until you can come back to work full time. That's well, that may never happen, and you know it. Why? You just told me how fantastic you feel. All right, so I lied. Truth is, Hal, I have hepatitis C. I'm taking medication. There's side effects. I don't know how that's going to affect me in the long run. We almost lost you, Margo. Can't you just be grateful you're alive? Come on. I am grateful. I'm so grateful having this time with my family. It's just, it's, 
it's wonderful. But I, you know me, I gotta feel like I'm useful. Otherwise, I'm just a nice lady who's sitting around in a nice house and waiting to fulfill her extra couple of years she's been given on the planet. There's lots of ways to be useful. Do you do volunteer work, raise money for yeah, charitable organizations. Yeah, that'd be enough or, for you, Hal. I, we're not talking about me. Well, you of all people know how dangerous Stenbeck is. You want his lackey as a DA? I mean, I'll go to Paul myself if I have to. You do that, I'll have you arrested. What? You heard me. This nice life of yours is important to me, too, Margot. And I'm not gonna let you risk it. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do you know this hotel fairly well? I've worked here for 11 years. Oh, great, great, great. Um, a friend of mine wrote his room number down, but I can't seem to find it. Is that a seven or a one? A seven. Well, see, I can't really tell. It's really strange, isn't it? Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go to the front desk and be sure. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Open the door. What? It's important, Henry. Do it. Howdy, partner. All right, let's get to work. What are you doing here? I had a bad mic. I thought you might need some help. No, no, no. You don't trust me, do you? No. Are you going to ever trust me? Doubtful. And what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Working so hard, risking my own you personal freedom. You want my trust. Earn it. Fine. Got me the electrical tape and the scissors that's on the top tray. I'll look for a place to plant the bug. All right. I love it when you take control. Here. You shouldn't have come here. Are you sorry I did? Jessica, you're a remarkable woman. <laughs> Why is that? For allowing yourself to admit. What, to admit what? That I want you, that I enjoyed kissing you? I have no problem owning my feelings or what I did. The difficult part is the guilt that comes with it. You feel you owe something to Dr. Harris? I will not talk to you about Ben Harris. He and I have something real. What do we have? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what this is. But whatever it is, it can't go any further. <clears throat> My cell phone number. What do I want that for? Because sooner or later, you'll feel the need to be alone with me. Meaning at the Lakeview will be too dangerous. I'll make arrangements for us elsewhere. You are the most arrogant man I think I've ever encountered. Something is exploding between us, Jessica. I can't fight it. And neither can you. What's exploding between us could ruin my career. Don't expect a phone call, Marshall. This isn't going any further. I guess I've been presumptuous. I apologize. <laughs> For what? Your arrogance, please. My arrogance is just a cover-up, Jessica. For a need that's all too real.
Can you keep your chocolate chip cookies from sticking? Yes, you can. With Pam, America's favorite no-stick spray. Spray the cookie sheet, spray the spatula. With Pam, your cookies just come out better. Pam, America's favorite no-stick spray. <sighs> Thank you. Can I eat it? Pure chocolate. Hershey's milk chocolate. I have sort of a love affair with Everybody it. Everybody needs a little chocolate in their Nothing life. Nothing added. This is uh, the original small squares of finite joy. Have you read about the baby who loved to play and the magical diapers he found one day? No matter how he'd bend or groove, the diapers would follow his every move. Huggy Supreme, our stretch, stretchiest ever, designed for greater comfort and a perfect fit. Flexible, stretchable, magical Huggy Supreme. Babies tell us this is it, our ultimate in care and fit. Do you like spinach? No. Superheroes love spinach. It's important to encourage kids to eat properly. Yum. Yet many kids aren't getting the recommended amounts of nutrients. That's why many parents choose Pediasure. It's a complete balanced source of the protein, vitamins, and minerals children need for healthy growth. If you're concerned your child isn't getting adequate nutrition, ask your doctor about Pediasure. Keep drinking it. Oh, you're drinking it all. Your mother shopping. She's at the JC Penny Saturday One Day Only Sale. Huge savings of 20 to 60 percent store wide, plus extra special doorbuster deals before noon. It's all inside JC Penny. Razor stinging you? Maybe you need a new deodorant. Introducing Ban Beautifully Smooth Antiperspirant. It prevents irritation after shaving, plus gives you Ban's maximum odor and wetness protection. New Ban Beautifully Smooth. There's only one way to make a great meat sauce. Their way. So we did. New ragu rich and meaty with half a pound of meat. Ladies. Born free, as free as the wind blows. As free as the grass grows. Looks like adding half a pound of meat to ragu's rich juicy tomatoes and authentic Italian spices meets with their approval. New ragu rich and meaty with half a pound of meat. If this one bottle of pine salt cleaner can make 14 buckets of cleaning power, hey, then guess how many buckets this bottle of Lysol can make? Only five. <laughs> so to get the same cleaning power in this one pine saw, you'd have to buy one, two, three bottles of Lemon Breeze Lysol. I don't know about you, but I'm not made of money, honey. Make the right choice. Choose the power of pine saw, the smell of clean. Hal, you would bring charges against me for this? Come on. Margo, my point is it's too soon for you to be doing police work. I'm not going to be chasing bad men down the alleyway. I mean, I don't even know if Stan Beck's back in the country or well, not. Well, then why talk about it? There's nothing you can do about it. So, that's me. Munson. Hey, Hal, it's Paul. I need a favor. You willing to do one for me, too? Sure, what is it? Tell me what you know about trying to prove a connection between Marshall Travers and James Stenbeck. Two things. The effort is moving forward, and the less you know about it, the better. For your protection or mine? Take your pick. Okay, I'll steer clear of it for now. You'll call me if you need me. You have my word. Good. Now, what can I do for you? My mother left town and was planning to take Will. Barbara left town with Will without telling me? How? Relax. It didn't happen. I talked her into letting Will stay with me. Well, good. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for that. He's at the Snyder's now. I'm supposed to pick him up there, but I'm running a little late. Say no more. I'm on my way. Uh, what time do you want me to tell him you'll be there? Uh, before dark, I'm sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take him out to get something to eat as soon as I get there. Uh, I wish I could get there sooner, but this operation is at kind of a crucial stage. Paul, be careful. These guys play rough. Well, I'm not playing. I'm dead serious. I gotta get going. Yeah, I figured. But listen, let me just ask you something. Um, don't you find it a little odd that the minute we make the connection between Stenbeck and Travers, Barbara leaves town? I'm not discussing police work with you. Your job is to get better, and that's it. No, no, no. Listen to me, Hal. If Barbara is taken up with Stenbeck again, that means that your son, Will, is right in the middle. 
what are you gonna do about that? Huh? Sit back, do nothing? You play dirty. Yeah, I play to win. Isn't that the kind of person you want on your team? Okay. You are unofficially on the case which officially does not exist. And you're not gonna be sorry. What do you want me to do? What no one else can do, Margot. You find James Stanbeck. Thanks for meeting me here. So, uh, do you have any ideas? I'll talk to Holden, and I'll try to convince him that you should stay, but Aaron, I really don't see what I can say that's gonna change his mind. How about, um, Aaron misses Lucy when he's away from her for more than five minutes. Can you imagine what it would do to him if he was half a country away? Aaron. <laughs> Just tell him it's pointless, Abigail. Because the second I get a chance, I'll be here in a shot. You got in a motorcycle accident with Lucy riding on the back. What am I supposed to say about that? That seeing Lucy on the ground is all the punishment I'll ever need. I love her, Abigail. She loves me. Please try to help me. There's not that much time. Hey, I thought you'd left. Had a run-in with Travers as I was leaving. I wanted to make sure that you were okay. Uh. You look down. Is it because Travers showed up at your press conference? <laughs> no. Please, I will not allow that man to have any effect on me. Mm, okay. So what's the problem? Ben, I could be out of a job in a week. I haven't been in private practice for uh, years. Or a week from now, you could be starting a new term as a district attorney. Come on, Jessica, you got to think positive. Yeah, I know. I don't know if I remember how. Ah, uh, well. You say you start by taking the rest of the day off with me. We take a drive down to the pond and we lay on the grass and imagine what it's going to be I like. I can't, I can't. I have a phone call to make and then I have appointments. Okay, okay, okay. I realize this is a difficult time, but you're going to make it through, okay? Just remember, you don't have to face it all alone. I'll remember that. Thank you. If you need me. Finding Stenbeck is next to impossible. It always has been. Now, that's not thats not letting me help. That's blowing me out of the water before I even begin. You asked for an assignment. You got one. It's fine, Stenbeck. You take it or leave it. I... Great. You want me to kill Superman, then? Hughes. Hey, Margo. It's Jessica. Hi. Shouldn't you be out making speeches somewhere? <laughs> Probably. Uh... Listen, do you have some time to, to talk to me? Right now? Yeah, it's kind of important. Is everything all right? <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. I, it's, uh, Marshall Travers, I just need some advice. Well, can you meet me at Java? I'm having coffee with Hal. I could be there in uh, 15 minutes? You sure I'm not interrupting? No, no, no. Hal, Hal has to leave anyway, so um, I'll be waiting. Jessica Griffin? She wants to talk to me about Travers. Why you? I don't know. But if Travers is connected to Stenbeck, this might be my first step toward finding him. Red. Aim. Fire. Try Woolite Instant Power Shot. One shot. No spot. Stains disappear on contact. Woolite light power shot. Baby shakes the rattle poo. Wax and roll. It's magic rattle poo. Put baby in control and watch baby poop go. This is fun. When baby shakes the rattle.
Magic Rattle Poo. Rock and roll. Oh, hello, friend. Meet new Sing and Snore Poo. Oh. Nap time. Please lay me down. Oh, thank you. Sing and Snore Poo loves to sing. Hush, little bumblebees. Snore. <laughs> and. Look! <laughs> he looks like Daddy. No, now he looks like Daddy. <laughs> New Sing and Snore Poo. <laughs> Milk is good for teeth and bones. <laughs> Meat gives you proteins to make muscles big. Boxes are all the rage this season, especially tart and plaids. Two-button boxer briefs are also in, while girls like these lovely patterns. Go, go! Woo! Four servings of bread. Bring can. back the fruit! <laughs> Is that your kid? Whoa, all right, back up there, Captain. My brother Danny and me, for as long as I can remember, we've been competitive about everything. He got a new truck, I got a bigger one. I've got a family, he's got a bigger one. That's the way it's always been. And my doctor tells me to start taking an aspirin every day for my heart. Just one St. Joseph aspirin. It's smaller than a regular aspirin, but he says that's all I need. So maybe bigger isn't always better. Try telling him that. St. Joseph aspirin. Trust it with all your heart. Comfort. It's what makes your baby happy. That's why there's Carnation Good Start, the only routine formula whose proteins are broken down to be easy to digest. They're called comfort proteins, and only Good Start has them. Carnation Good Start from Nestle. How far would you go <laughs> for the great taste of French's sweet onion? Nothing cuts the mustard like French's. night, America fell in love with Presidio Med. That is so great! The new drama from the producers of ER. Tonight, Presidio Med moves to its regular night with an all-new episode. Practice works! Contact plastics. Find out who's on for Burns. I'm shifting him to someone else. I hate Burns. You just want the nose jobs and the breast implants. Oh, God. I don't want to hear this. Am I losing my ovary? I'm going to take care of this, Jules. <sighs> All-new Presidio Med, CBS Tonight, 10, 9 Central. When you're looking for that ooh, I feel, come to Mattress Giant. Do you wake up feeling worn out? It's time for a new mattress. Is your bedding over 10 years old? It's time for a new mattress. Have you forgotten what a good night's sleep feels like? It's time for a new mattress. Get a new mattress with that ooh-ah feel. Only at Mattress Giant. Ooh-ah. Only at Mattress Giant. Ooh-ah. In graphic design, having a creative edge means you get the big picture. You find solutions. You work the technology. Your work gets noticed. Stand out. Get an education in graphic design at the Illinois Institute of Art. 1-800-557-4629. That's 1-800-557-4629. Get an edge here. If you've been in an accident, either on the job or just getting around, or if you think your doctor may have committed malpractice, call the CBS2 legal line toll-free at 866-LAW-CBS2 or go online to cbs2chicago.com for experienced legal representation. A new device that may lower coronary blockage at 5. You're just one day away from the season premiere of CSI, CBS Tomorrow. Hey. Oh, hi. It's good to see you. Oh, man, it's good to be seen. <laughs> this, uh... Daddy, this is temporary. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear you say that. So the recovery's going well? Oh, extremely. Good. Good. You look great. Thank you. I guess I should order something. Yeah, you, you could. Or you could just stop stalling and tell me what you want to talk about. Right. Uh, I said this was about Marshall Travers. Mm -hmm. I guess I should just come out with it, right? Yeah, that's usually the way it's done. Just... Right. Um, I'm attracted to him, Margot. 
I don't want to feel this way. I don't understand it, but I can't seem to shake it. Uh, well, have you done anything? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. no. Right. I, well, I kissed him twice. And I knew I shouldn't have, but I couldn't stop myself. Listen, Jess, you're a grown woman. Kissing's not illegal. Ben is a good person. And, and we're good together. And, and it looks like our relationship is, is moving forward, you know? And I... And then this madness takes over. Wait a minute, does Ben know anything about your feelings? Oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 right. no. I, I considered explaining what I was going through, but I, I can't even explain it to myself. I don't like Marshall Travers. Mm -hmm. And I can't count the number of things he's done that I don't respect. And yet the man walks in the room and I just want to throw myself in his arms. It scares me, Margo, and... I don't know how much longer I can keep saying no. This model stuff is all you ever want to do. Can't we do something else? We're almost finished, Will. And plus, I want to take it to school with me next week. So why should I care? Because Luke's a pal and you're a stand-up kid. Dad! <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, uh, Mom's out of town. Can I come home with you? Well... I don't see why you want to do that. I mean, Paul told me he's buying pizza every night for dinner this week. It's not the same as being home. And you don't even have to pick me up. I can take a cab all by myself. Hey, Luke. Would you mind giving Will and me a couple of seconds to ourselves here? Okay. Thanks. got here is a situation that neither one of us likes. I know you miss being home, and I miss having you there, but we can't take matters into our own hands. Right now, we got to do what the law says, and the law says that you live with your mom. But I'm sick of living with her. She doesn't let me do anything. She loves you a lot, Will. I know she can be... Dad, she treats me like a baby. You never treat me like that. Can't you do something, please? What we gotta do is stay strong and we play this smart. Now, we keep doing that, and before you know it, you'll be sleeping at home in your own bed, and we won't have to go through this ever again. Mm, then here. Now, why are you giving me this? Because if I don't need to use it to get home, then I don't see any reason to use it at all. Come here. You just stay strong. This will all be over soon. The hell's taking them so long. They should have been out of Travers' room ten minutes ago. Oh. Yes, hello? He's on his way up? Okay, no, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, get out of Travers' room now. He's on his way up. Look, we're almost done here, right, Henry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, all we need is a couple of minutes. Simon, get out of there. Don't take any chances. All right. We're going to have to go. Trevor's on the way up. All right, all right. There's some more tiny adjustments. Listen, listen, I'll forget it. Baby. That's going to have to do, Henry. Go, Simon. I'll catch if up with Travis you. Travis comes up here. I said go. about a torture test I took a leave to my two-day walk for charity with my bad back I needed something that wouldn't let me down a few hours later well a leave kept me going all day my heart went out to some of the other women Are you okay? they took something else a few hours later they were hurting again ready to quit I gave them my leave and they had a fighting chance a leave can stop pain all day with just two pills it would take eight Tylenol to do that hey leave by the end of the walk people were calling me hey leave like it was my name so thanks a leave Original caramels? What a find. Mmm. They're creamy and wonderful to chew. 
I love that taste. It's Werther's all the way. Werther's Original. Hard candies or chewy caramels. Try them now. Parquet's known for its buttery taste. Mm, butter. Parquet. But Parquet Regular Soft's lower in saturated fat. That's right. 25% lower than I Can't Believe It's Not Butter Regular Soft. Hey, thanks for noticing. Parquet, great buttery taste with less saturated fat. Mmm, good. Having a busy day? Can't find the time to eat right? Campbell's introduces something so revolutionary, it deserves a hand. Introducing Campbell's Soup at Hand. Four hot, satisfying soups like creamy chicken and tomato. They're the only soups made sippable in new heat-and-go microwavable cups. Sure, your hands are full, but it's amazing what you can do with new soup at hand from Campbell's. Mm-mm, good. Shave half as often with Jurgen's naturally smooth shave minimizing moisturizer. Get seriously smooth legs you can't help but show off. Jurgen's shave minimizing moisturizer. Love your body. Inside that flashlight behind the new halogen bulb is something familiar a battery. And while it may not be the biggest decision of your day, consider this. When the Rocky Mountain Rescue Group needs light to save lives, they trust Duracell. So, whether it's lighting up a mountain rescue or illuminating a world of wizards and hobbits, it just has to work. Duracell, trusted everywhere. The Evicted Big Brother house guests are coming back. Awesome. To decide who will get half a million bucks. It's unbelievable. It is so shocking. The Big Brother finale, live CBS Tonight. CBS Saturday. <laughs> Bing Rames. I don't like the way you do things. And Jacqueline Smith. Join Craig T. Nelson this season on The District. Then, it's a new season of The Agency, and going undercover has never been more dangerous. Get back to work, boys. The Agency season premiere after The District season premiere. CBS Saturday. trouble. Marshal called Henry. Uh, laundry sent me, sir. Are you one of these things cleaned? Good thinking, Henry. I have some dry cleaning, too. Can you take that? Uh, yes. I hate to inconvenience you, but I'm gonna have to ask you to fill out a separate ticket. My boss is really strict about that sort of thing. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Uh, let me get my suit. Okay. <sighs> he bought it. Uh, yeah, could you send the valet to room 703? I have some dry cleaning that needs to be picked up. Thank you. What are you doing? Making sure this works. I want it back by tomorrow night. It'll be here, sir. You have a nice day. You too, thanks. Thank you. Very quick thing. Shh, 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 shh. Travers is on the phone. Hi, this is Mr. Travers in 703. I just sent some laundry and dry cleaning down, but uh, I didn't recognize the valet. What's happening? He's on to us. Can you confirm that my clothes have been delivered and that the valet is actually an employee of the hotel? I'm 
so you have received it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, we're in the clear. Now all we need to do is wait for my father to make contact. And Mr. T. Marshall Travers will be out of our lives. For good. Now this is your money. You keep it. The going home part, that'll take care of itself. You just trust me, okay? Now I gotta get to work. Hey, tomorrow I'll stop by Paul's and we'll find something fun to do. Just the two of us. How about that? Maybe. I love you, son. I'll see you tomorrow. Sure, Dad. There is a theory floating around that Marshall Travers may be connected to James Stinnick. Well, wait a minute. I know that he represented Stenbeck in the past, but you think he's still working for him? I think that Marshall Travers has ulterior motives. For what? For everything. Excuse me a minute. I'm gonna go and throw some cold water on my face and hope that my brain <laughs> will kick back into gear. No, listen, listen, you just wait here. You, you see that lady, Addy? She's gotta roll me out of here in a second. Oh, okay, well, thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. I really needed my girlfriend today. Oh, you've got one, always. Stay well, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. See you soon. There was something I can do. Something that can make Holden trust me again. Like what? I don't know. Hell, after everything that's gone wrong, I mean, what can I possibly do that's major enough for him to change his mind? He thinks I mess everything I touch. No, he doesn't. Think about it, Abby. I stay out all night with this car. I get in a fight at the old mill. I get Lucy in a bike accident. I mean, to make up for that, I'd have to defuse a bomb or, or pull some baby off a railroad track. You know, no, Aaron Snyder, the hero. He still wouldn't do it. Hi, did you guys come up with anything? Uh, we thought of some ideas. I'm gonna go talk to Holden. Thanks, Abby. Good luck. that leg. It's healing. So do you think Abigail's gonna be able to convince Holden to let you stay? It's not looking as good as I hoped. Hey, Lucy, Aaron, hi, wait, wait hi, hi, it's good to see you guys. Uh, same here. So, oh, Gladys, this is my niece, Lucy, and you know what? She could drive me home and I could just see you tomorrow. Is that okay? I mean, because I just... You know, if that's all right with you, I'd, I'd love to spend some time with you guys. Oh, me too. But I just don't know if I can... No, no, you go ahead. I'll meet you back at the farm. But what if you... You know what? Why don't you just tell me, Gladys where the car is and I'll meet you there. That's me right in front of the shoe store. I'll be there in about two minutes. Take your time, Gladys. Shoes. Let's go. Bye, Aaron. All right. Aaron, you can't go home. What if your parents want to leave early for the airport? I won't go. I'll wait till you get there. I'm just afraid that if I leave now, I'll never get to see you again. <laughs> if laughter is the best medicine, then we are one healthy family. When you laugh, your whole mouth shows. Teeth, gums, breath. But Aquafresh keeps it all protected with three toothpastes in one. Strong teeth all day long. Healthy gums. Clean, fresh breath. And a cool, confident feeling you feel all over. Today's Aquafresh. The whole mouth paste. Excuse me, we need to know who's going to be there. Leave me alone! Okay, it may seem like I hate my parents, but what I'm really demonstrating is what a therapist would call asserting my individual identity. We need to know. It's none of your business! Sure, I say I want freedom. But without parental supervision, I'm much more likely to smoke pot and stuff. How my parents don't try to act like my friends. What I really need is parents. You're not leaving until you give us the details. Okay. Talk, no, ask. Parents, the anti-drug. Daddy's gonna change you. You. Yeah. Fact. Babies teach us to look out for number one. Oh. <laughs> Fact. Life
Lysol spray kills 99.9% .9 of germs in your baby's room. Life demands Lysol. That's fact. I'm squeezed in the middle. In the middle. Mmm, <gasps> tall, dark, and handsome. Introducing Chips Ahoy Cream Witches. Now with tasty chocolate cream. Here, kitty, kitty. Watch the birdie. <laughs> oh, look at this. Why would Windex make a wipe? Because they're the quick, easy way to shine just about anything. Are you making that up? Introducing new Windex wipes. For a streak-free shine, no leading wipe to touch. New Windex wipes shine just about anything, especially glass. This is too easy. <laughs> Reach for new Windex wipes. The wipe that shines. S.C. Johnson and Family Home. Did you know that the powerful heating medicine in Bengay increases blood flow at the site of application to help ease your aches and pains? Did you also know that Bengay's been scientifically proven to increase range of motion, decrease muscle and arthritis pain, and improve flexibility? And Ultra Strength Bengay has three powerful pain relieving medicines, more than any other leading brand, and that adds up to fast, powerful pain relief. Ultra Strength Bengay, the power you want, the relief you need. CBS This Friday. Two new dramas, one great night of television. First, David Morse and Andre Brower star in the series premiere of Hack. Then, Ellie's top detective is obsessed. Didn't know he was shot. Because crime never sleeps. I was told two people got hit. Robbery Homicide Division premieres CBS Friday after Hack. <clears throat> hey, thanks for not giving us up. Oh, come on, I'd never do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only under certain circumstances. Right, so what makes this so special? Well, Simon, if I turn you in, I end up in jail right next to you. Oh, I don't know. From what I've seen of Travers, you could have probably cut a deal. Now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what's that? Shh. Wait, wait. It's Marshall's phone. We didn't bug it, did we? No, 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 just his room, but at least we'll hear his side of the conversation. Hopefully that'll be enough. Marshall Travers. It's... It's me. I was hoping you'd call. I was hoping I wouldn't. I can't meet you here. It's too dangerous. I'll call you from my car, and we'll figure out where we can get together. That was him. That was James. All right. I was hoping you'd call. Too dangerous to meet here. Yeah, it sure sounds like okay, it. Okay, I'm going to try to follow Marshall, see where they hook up. You want to come along? Yeah, why not? Okay, you stay here in case Marshall doubles back. Yeah, I was planning on it. Yeah, all right, all right, good. My father's made a rare mistake, and this time I'm going to make him pay for it. I should go meet my family. Maybe something magic happened, and they've changed their minds about me leaving. I'm going to take my Aunt Margo home, and I'll get to the farm as soon as I can. Aaron, don't argue with them. If you have to leave before I get there... But then I'll come back. Nothing's gonna keep me away from you. Don't give up. Find a way to stay. Aaron could be leaving for Seattle, and then I have to say goodbye to him. Is that why you smashed that trophy case so no. you could get back here and see Aaron? No! You're lying. I bailed on dear old Wentworth because I'd rather eat toasted maggots than be another corpse in their boneyard. But as long as we're back, I'm out of here. No, you're not! Come back! Allison, come back here! My propeller's missing. Did you take it? Did you? No. But you threw it in the loft again like you did last time. I didn't touch it. Leave me alone. Then will you help me find it? Please? Sure. Stupid model. Stupid Luke. Stupid everything. Did you find it? No.
I'd like someone to explain why carrying a five pound baby means I'm now 30 pounds heavier. Putting on socks has become an aerobic activity for me. Well, there's only one thing to do. Positively pizza-rific. 